Hello everyone. I am here because I wanted to do some Christmassy um, stamped label things. So what I have are some different, <coughs> excuse me, colors of archival ink. Um, and I have uh, this one, which is carnation red and barn door. So I'm going to try both of those. And I also have this one, which I think was a freebie, and it's actually called um, Christmas Green. Don't know if it's waterproof, but I will try it. I was trying to go with waterproof. I also have some Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous Stamps. This isn't particularly Christmas, but, <clears throat> you know, sending posts is. And this is Christmas Post. And there's a cute, and I have some snowflakes. And then I actually don't have as much as in the way of Christmas as I thought I did. Uh, these are more winter. I have a sled, and I have some snowshoes, a jingle bell, and a lantern. Then here's a, some Christmassy ones. This is my only kind of reindeer Christmas one, which it's disappointing, but I think I'm going to use that a lot. And then I have this one, which is a Blue Fern Studio, which I think I'm going to start with and use as a background because it's music. And I don't have... Do I have... I have a block. Oh, it'll fit. On the block. Ah! Poof. Okay. So... And then, and then I'm, what am I stamping on? I am stamping on, <coughs> excuse me, um, this. It's a uh, clear shipping labels, full sheet by Avery. <coughs> and I'm actually not sure where I got it. I think I might've gotten them on Amazon, either Amazon or Staples. I'm not sure. Oh, and then of course I also have my signet stamps, um, uh, Eve, no, not Avery. Hmm. <laughs> I can't think of what these are called now because all I can think of is the word Avery, but you know what these are. And I have them <clears throat> in this cool old, uh, school pencil box. Okay. So I'm, what my plan is, is to just to get some images down and then to go over the images with the denizen. That's what they're called, denizen. Okay, so let's start with some vintage photo. Oh, you know what? Maybe I don't want the block because the block's going to be very, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it the Artie Mays way and just, here, I'm going to put this back on here. And instead of having like a really perfect kind of full on stamp, I'm just going to do bits. So it's more backgroundy. Let's see how this is going. It's hard to see whether or not it's, it's not hugely juicy. But we'll see. Okay. So that's <clears throat> Dis Ranger Distress Archival Ink Waterproof Vintage Photo. And I'm just going to kind of here and there get some background on there. So hello everyone, I hope you are all well. Today is the day after Thanksgiving and we had a lovely day yesterday. We had my, <clears throat> my mother-in-law came down and another family that we've been friends with for forever came over and we had kind of a, there we go, I like that, a low key, I think we played some Scrabble, and after our meal before pie, we went for a walk, and that was lovely. 
And then, you know, today we've been snibbaging on leftovers all day long. So it feels like, you know, 24 hours of being full. <laughs> Which my son said he enjoyed. Okay. Well, that's good. That's kind of what I was going for. Let me put this back here for now. Now let's do some reindeer. And I will put this one on a block. I think I will do the reindeer. I want to see what the different reds look like. So this one is barn door. So let's see what the, how that comes out. Oh, that's cute. Is that in frame? Oh, that is nice and dark. Just barely in front of me. There we go. <clears throat> oh, you know what? I need a stamping off piece of paper. I need a new one, apparently. Um, hmm. Bear with me. Here's a piece of grid paper. <clears throat> Okay, um, and I'm going to do another one in this carnation red just to see what the difference is. There's still a little bit on here. There we go. Okay. Carnation red. Let's see which one looks... <clears throat> Christmas year. Oh. And so today's Black Friday, but we don't really do Black Friday. They're so similar. This one's a little bit darker. They're both nice, though. I did go online and get my ordered my husband a pair of boots, but that's not really about Christmas. That's because he needed a pair of boots, and they were on sale. So <clears throat> I think that's probably what I've mostly done in my life with Black Friday is used it just to buy things that I needed anyway that are on sale. I've never been a big Black Friday shopper. Okay, let's do this one. It's like some greenery. So let's do this one in green. And I'm going to try this in the peeled paint. I've always loved peeled paint. Peeled paint and the Distress Ink and Oxide um, are what I've always used and favored when I do um, kind of nature-themed journals, botanical or or other nature themed other than ocean. I've always loved peeled paint. <clears throat> yeah, I like that. I'm gonna do another one. Another one over here. Over that jingle bells. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, so we're having a lovely, lazy day. It's super rainy. Kind of chilly. They said we might actually get some snow flurries tonight, which will be the our first flurries of the 
of the year. We're in Massachusetts and we're right on the coast. So we're a little bit moderated, but sometimes we get snow when um, we get like water effect snow, ocean effect snow. Why isn't this coming off? All right, I'll do it right on there. I'm gonna use this fossilized amber. See if it makes it look kind of goldish. But it has been going down into the 20s at night. So it's been chilly. I put out a squirrel feeder with some peanuts and we have a very cute little red squirrel who has been very happy to come and and avail himself of the peanuts. And we've had some blue jays that have also been enjoying the peanuts. And they're so cute to watch, that little red squirrel. Oh my goodness, is he cute. Well, that's, that's okay. I'm gonna do one in another concho. I'm gonna try the faded jeans. <clears throat> I think this faded jeans might work well for the snowflake and the uh, what else do I have here? That's that's all my choices, right? Oh no, I haven't done the green. Um, this green. <clears throat> uh, let's see. No, I'm gonna do another fossilized amber on this. I just don't know what the, how the um, Distress inks will interact with this because it's, it's plastic label paper. So it's got, it's, it's slick. And I think they might be very smudgy on this type of surface. So that's why I wanted to use the waterproof. Yeah, that fossilized amber looks not very, very gold. It's a very golden yellow. That's quite nice. I think I have an orange in there too. I think, let me just see. Yeah, I have a <clears throat> spiced marmalade. Let's just for comparison's sake, see what the spiced marmalade looks like as a gold. <clears throat> It's interesting, they don't all have the same amount of juiciness, even though these were purchased as a pack at the same time in the same package. It's <clears throat> so nice to have some days off to relax after, you know, it's been a long slog <clears throat> from September until now. School atmosphere is tense and difficult this year, more so than other years because of the, oh, just, ooh, well, that's pretty. It's definitely orange, but it's a pretty, pretty color. It doesn't bother me that it's orange in Christmas. Okay, let's try um, this faded jeans. For the, ooh, that's a juicy one. For that snowflake there. Oops. What did I just do? There it is. <laughs> Put that over here. So I made myself a list. <clears throat> I'm working on that three ring binder Christmas journal. And I did make myself a list of all the different pages that I want to put in there. Um, and so I will be going through that list. I just really wanted to, get, I needed some more Christmas type things. Ooh, that's quite nice. I like that. I wonder what else I have in the way of blue. Let's see, I have Mermaid Lagoon, but I think that's too much. I have Grand Espresso, Black Soot. I have pink, I don't want pink. I have hickory smoke. 
and dusty comfort. <clears throat> Hickory smoke might be interesting. Let's see, maybe with those bells. Let's try the hickory smoke with the bells. <clears throat> These bells here. And then I decided, and then I'm going to do a December daily. I don't know if you guys watch um, Louisa Heinzel and uh, Barbara from 49 Dragonflies, but they've put out a teaser that they're doing a um, a December daily uh, prompt challenge kind of thing. Oh, that's very cute. I like that. <clears throat> and um, so I think I might do that. I don't know if I'll do it every day, but I certainly will be watching it and might try that. I want to reprint. I bought um, the numbers from Tracy Fox last year, like the 1 through 25 for the daily, daily, December daily that come on like a little tag and they're so cute. I want to reprint those and I bought myself some photo quality paper so that I could print them nicely. Because the ones I printed out last year were I loved. But they weren't, the printing was, wasn't was crisp. And I have a, a terrible printer. I'm not, I just, I have to live with it for now. But it's not very good. So I was thinking maybe if I tried printing on a better quality paper, I might get a more cr crisper image. Okay, so let's try some of these, a couple of these bigger ones. I want to try this big old <clears throat> Christmas bell. It also says Jingle Bell. Put it over that Jingle Bell. Now, do I want to do this color or this color? I think I'm going to do this color. Maybe I'll do both. Oh, you see, you know what? That is a little um, smudgy. Interesting. Okay, where is... Or maybe I want to do faded jeans. I think I do. I want faded jeans on this. But I'm going to go light, not super saturating it, she says, as she pounces. Okay. I love these blueprint style stamps. They're always fun. sure which way I don't know How, what do you guys think are these acrylic blocks necessary I'm not convinced that on any of these these acrylic blocks are not that necessary oh love that love it love it love it okay so let's do some Of these snowflakes. Oh, they're all so pretty. Well, I just did a roundish thing, so maybe I'll do a pointyish thing. Put them there. And I'm going to do um let's see what did I say I had that I didn't want to use <laughs> let's try a purple snowflake wrong side all right here we'll do a block what do you guys think leave it in the comments if you think the blocks are important. Oh, 
Ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> oh, that's nice. All right, I'm going to do another one of these in a different color. Maybe I'll be brave and I'll use uh, another color that I turned, snubbed my nose at. It was that bright blue. I had like a, here we go. We have this Mermaid Lagoon. Let's try a uh, Snowflake and Mermaid Lagoon. I'm having a little avalanche. Can you guys see that? Am I getting too, too low? Oh, I think that might make a really good snowflake color. Let's see. Let's see. Let's do this down here. I think I'm going to do something else big there. Like that. Yeah, I'm totally not convinced about these quilt blocks. Oh, look how pretty that is. I in frame. <laughs> that is a very cheerful snowflake. I like that. All right, let me do another bigger thing right here. Um, let's do let's do the sled. Let's do a red sled. I think maybe on the bigger ones it's more necessary because it's hard to get your hand over it. But I don't know. Okay, now do we want? Yeah, I think we want the barn door. You can see I've never used these before. But I have the the blueprint stamps in the sea creatures. And I have the um, dragonfly one. Oh my gosh, I just adore those stamps. Okay. Let's see. gonna fit right here. <clears throat> That's fun. Do need something in here. I want to do another one of these blue snowflakes, but let's do a different one that fits. See, this one is this one. Well, this is a pretty one. Oh, wait, did I, did I just use that one? No, I use this one. Are they the same one? Ah, they're the same one. Or very similar. Um, so this one is this one. I'll do this one. In the blue. And then we'll do some of the postage stuff. So we're just going to create layers. All right, let's go for it. But I could get another one in there too. <clears throat> oh, that's so pretty. Oh no, I dropped it. Hold on. Yikes, where'd it go? My desk is so dark underneath. Here we go, found it. All right, one more. Let's do this one. I will make a quick decision. And this one will go there and it will be, it will be, it will be denim or faded jeans. I think, I don't know, we'll see. Let's see what it looks like when I peel it up. Yeah, 
it's just fine. I'm totally not convinced that you need the block for all stamps. That has a lot of ink on it. That that faded jeans is juicy. Okay, put that one back. Okay, let's find our cute little Christmassy ones. And let's do a, a special delivery. And this has to be red, I think. We'll do carnation red on this one. Fill in some of the spots. Oh. All right, can I get a second one out of it? Oh, I can. Well, that's good to know. Well, that's fun. And then I think we need some North Pole, something that says North Pole. This is a cute one. Oh, there's Santa. It says, very Merry Christmas to you, and it's got a little Santa on it. Oh, but I wanna do, I've done red already. And I would need to do that in red, I think, because Santa's red. But this little deer can be green. So I haven't gotten enough green on here. Okay, and you want to live right there. And then a second one right there. And then I want one right over here in the corner under the word Jingle Bells. I'm going to go over the word Jingle Bells. That will be a really cute one. Okay. Oh, and I guess we can do this. Okay. That's fun. And then, um, Merry Christmas, gold. Let's do something in gold. How about Christmas delivery over here? This little circle. And I'm gonna do it in the fossilized amber. That's this color. So I've been looking at this little spot here. Oh, almost dropped it. Wow, I'm totally Butterfingers tonight. There and there. And something there, but it can't be the same one. So let's put this back. And what do we want to put right there? Something in a different shape, because we've got a circle there already. <clears throat> Happy Holidays, North Pole. Now I do have a black soot ground espresso. How about ground espresso? I've got black soot, but I've also got ground espresso. Let's go right there. And here.
here. Okay, and then we need our cancellation. And this I'll do in the black soot. Okay, all right, we're good, we're good, we're good, okay, stop. All right, now we're gonna get out our Signet stamps and <clears throat> let me clear some of this out of the way. My stamping, there's my block. Um, and let me get some of these extra colors out of the way. I don't think I need these. I think the signet stamps, I could do the signet stamps actually in black soot. Where did my black soot go? I'll do black soot and I will do carnation red and maybe Christmas green. Excuse me. Okay, so let's start off with a big one. I'm gonna do a big one in carnation red. Now, this is the first generation of these. So in subsequent generations, I believe he made this bit deeper because it's, if you're not very careful when you're inking it, you can get the ink in the center, which is kind of defeats the purpose because the idea is that it's going to be a label. So this first one, I'm gonna go right over here. Voila. And I'll do another one over the this. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go for any, um, seconds on this because I want them all to be pretty rich, rich and red. Oh, I want to get the word jingle bell in this. Well, that's fun. I'm happy with that. Okay, so I've done that one. Let's do a different size. Just another larger one. This is more rectangular. And let's do this in green. Let's try that and let's go over let's go over uh, nope that's not gonna work here I'll get this this little area right here so it has a thing on here so that you can see where you're going you just have to kind of figure out where the edge of the page is Oh, uh, well, that's sad. That didn't come out very dark. Huh. 
Okay. All right, well, let's do a black one. So this can be very hard not to get the inside. If I go across, I've got to go just along the edges here. Otherwise, I'm going to wind up getting it in the middle. Um, let's, let's go with right here. Ah, that's better. I like that. Okay. I want a square one. This is a big square one. Is this a square one? Oh, this is the lined one. That's a fun one, but it's not good for this one. Oh, it might be good for this one. I'm going to skip that one for now. This is a squarish one. And I'll do black on it again. Okay, I think the next one of these that I do is going to be on file folder because I think I want to use um, embossing powders. All right, I need a bigger one. Uh, let's see, what have I got? I got a little itty bitty titchy one. I could get a little itty bitty titchy bell. Or I could get um, I could get this in a narrow, a narrow bit. I'm gonna try red for that because it's the green leaves. So this is the long narrow one. And I have to be very careful not to press too hard. It's better to pop up and down because it's shallow. But I'm gonna do right along. Oops, I kind of overlapped on that green. Oh, well. So be it. Um, I bet I could get the, the bells. Okay. And I want to get the snowflakes. And it's I'm, I'm absolutely okay with it being wonky because the idea is that it's a stamp, it's a label. And when I cut it out, it's going to look like it's, it's actually going to look cool that it's not completely filling the whole space. Like I could get this bit right here. And it's just part of that. I'll have to cut. Oh, that's too, that's too bad. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, is this my, what else do I have? Which one's, this one's bigger. That's my biggest square. I want to get this right here. Excellent. And I want to get this one. So I'm going to use, so I've started to just pounce on it like that. It's actually working pretty well. Line it up as best I can here. There we go. Oh, I think I overlapped. Darn it. That's okay. I'll just split the difference. It's all right. It's all good. All right. Um, I think that has to be black. And I think it has to be this one. Yeah, 
I got it in the center. That's so hard. I actually, you know what? I should be using, I have a larger pad in there. Let's see if I can do this without overlapping. Oh, it's not gonna fit on the page. Is that one gonna fit on the page? Yeah, that'll fit on the page. That's okay. I'm gonna, I'll fix that. I'm not gonna lose that one because I like it. Oh, that's fun. I like that. All right, well this, no, that's not the right size. That's not the right size. I don't have the right size. Oh, dear me. All right. All right, we're gonna do, we're gonna do this anyway. See if I can realign it. I'm going to take it anyway. I wonder, can I just do this side? Ha! Create a stamp. That's fine. And it's going to need another something there because it's a little plain. And then I've got this area in here. Oh, and I've got the sled over here. That's definitely should be black. Where's my biggest one? This is my biggest one. And then let me grab that really big black pad. Here. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't grab this in the first place. It works really well for this at not getting it in the middle. That's good. And then I could go that way. For that one, I think I'll do a red one in there. I'll do this size in red. Like that. Um, and then I think if I add something right here, maybe a postage stamp or my postage stamps. about an airmail. An airmail in green. I think this ink this pad is just not very juicy. That's okay. It's not, it's just not very dark. It looks, comes out better on, oh, I put the other green away. Oh, silly me. That's okay. You know what? That's okay. Let's do 
this in black. Will that fit? That will just fit. And then what I'll do is I will cut these out and I'll post the final photo on my Instagram and it will also be the the final photo that I upload to go with this video. Oh, I could probably get something right here too. All right, that'll be my last one. Oh, that actually came out kind of cute. Like it. Okay, so I can do something right here in square and I think in black. Will that fit? No, that will overlap. Hmm. There's like an in-between size that I'm hankering for. Something in between these two. All right, let's just do this. We'll do one here. And we'll do one, that's not gonna fit. All right, we're gonna call it good. We're gonna stop there. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these out and I'll post the final picture on the cover and um and i hope you guys are enjoying that and hope you're doing stamping if you are doing something christmasy let me know and leave a comment in, in the in the comment section about what your position is on acrylic blocks all right thank you very much please like and subscribe and stay safe